All right, so it's time to talk about the closing process. So I'm sure hopefully by now we're getting pretty excited and we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So with a couple of things to notice as we head down the final stretch with closing on your property. First thing is, is that we need to make sure that the lending docs are over to the title company because the title company is going to get all of those together, the lending docs, the settlement docs, how the property is going to transfer through the deed, things like that. And what we want to do is start to review, especially the loan docs and the, and the final settlement disclosure so that we can kind of take a look, make sure all the numbers are adding up. Everything's where it's supposed to be. If, if we've negotiated a credit, the, the prorated taxes are right, the escrow fees, all that is correct so that we're not blindsided by anything and we can get a little bit ahead of it. We're also going to want a couple of days ahead of the time, go ahead and get everything under control to get over our funds for our down payment, whether that's wiring, a certified check, however you're going to work that out with title. We want to go ahead and make sure that's over so that when it comes to funding, we're not waiting on that money. So once we get that done, typically what's going to happen is that title is going to set up an opportunity for us to come into their office, sit down, go through all the documents, go through all the signing. And, and if you are doing a signing, you are financing, uh, go ahead and work that elbow out a little bit because there's gonna be a day full of a lot of signatures. Now for my cash buyers, um, not so big of a stack because you're obviously not gonna have a mortgage with the property. So that, that will eliminate that signing, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and be doing that. Now, if you're not in town, if you're out of state, overseas, whatever the case may be, don't worry. Um, majority of the time we can set up a mobile notary or get something in place, but let us know ahead of time so we have ample time to go ahead and get that done for you. All right, now let's talk about when is your first payment, right? That's obviously something as we review these documents, you're gonna wanna work out with your lender. A lot of times, depending on when you sign in the month, you may have a month or even a month and a half before your payment is due, your first mortgage payment that is, right? So let's say you close in the middle of January, they might have a grace period for the, through the end of January and uh, then obviously through February and you might your first payment might not be due until March so you're gonna to want to make sure you know where that is so that you have all the funds ready and appropriated um, accordingly and if you're in an HOA that's gonna be a completely separate entity that we'll go through in another video but make sure you understand your mortgage payment is not going to be covering your HOA dues so once we get that situated, uh, it's time to start talking about keys, right? Well, in order to do that, in order to sign off and everything, we're gonna make sure that we get that final walkthrough done. Uh, a lot of the times I'll even set up a final walkthrough you, for you in the morning, signing closing documents right after, because we wanna limit the amount of time from when we do that final walkthrough to the closing, because we would just hate for anything to happen during that little gap period. So in that period, we're going to go make sure that the home is in reasonably the same condition as when we entered into that contract. Also, we're going to make sure that any repairs that we'd requested to be done have been handled. We have the documentation on them. Um, in some cases, we might even have the inspector go back out and, and reinspect them. But we're going to want to make sure that is all taken care of before we sign off on your final walkthrough. And so once all of that is done and we've signed off on everything, now it's time to go ahead and get you those keys. Um, typically, I'll be the one that's orchestrating that with you. We'll get you either over to the house, I'll make you arrange with the agents, but either way, we're gonna go ahead and get you those keys so that you can get to start to moving into that new beautiful home. Uh, so hopefully you're gonna have a smooth transaction, a smooth clothing, and uh, hope you have a wonderful time in that new home.